Hello, here we are with an unboxing and hands-on of the Acer Liquid Z3. Now, Acer is a brand that we've seen appearing a few times in the smartphone market. They've never had much success, uh, but they're sort of coming out with a new range of devices and slowly improving and learning. And here we have the Liquid Z3, which, as the box depicts here, has a 3.5-inch touchscreen and a dual-core processor. DTS sound technology and Android operating system. So it's a fairly uh, nondescript box with a few sort of specs on the back here, but we'll run through those uh, in a moment. So this is the full retail packaging. We have opened this up before and there might be slight differences between the one that you receive, but here is the device and we actually lift off this cover to reveal the uh, device itself, which we'll come back to in just a moment. Let's have a look at what else you actually get in the box so fairly standard box contents so we've got the battery here which has a 1500 milliamp hour capacity we got a three pin uk mains adapter and that's got a usb port on it for uh, connecting the usb cable to there is the usb cable micro usb connection at the other end for charging and connecting to a computer and that's pretty much it so uh, what you get in the box may differ slightly from the one we've got there. Okay, so here we are with the device. And I should start off really by saying that this is more at the entry level uh, end of the smartphone market. It's gonna be retailing about 100 pounds inclusive of VAT. So it's quite cheap, uh, but that doesn't mean that it's actually bad and it could do as a first smartphone or a secondary phone. Now, the first thing that we'll really notice here is that it's got this uh, flip cover on it and that's formed part of the back covering for the actual phone itself which we can pull off like so so we've got a removable back cover with this front facing cover which actually got a bit of flex in it but it's quite nice to the touch it's smooth and we've got the acer logo uh, down there in here then we've got the sim card slot and a micro sd card slot now i do believe that this may be available uh, as a dual SIM variant, but in the UK, we're gonna be ranging it as a single SIM variant. So you've got the option there of expanding the memory. We pop in the removable 1500 milliamp hour battery, and we pop this cover then back on, and this is reminiscent a bit of a Samsung Galaxy um, cover from their range of devices with the flip cover built in. So we we'll just power this on by pressing the power button at the top of the unit. And as you can see here, we've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack down on the right side of the device, we've got a volume up and down key. And then if we come to the bottom of the device, we've got the micro USB port and then a microphone. Flip open the cover, which does flip back behind the device. We've got the 3.5 inch touchscreen, got the speaker up here. We've then got uh, the back, so the home and the running apps key. And then if we take a look at the back of the device, We've got this sort of soft touch, smooth back cover. That's all uh, built into the cover, that Ace logo. We've got the loudspeaker down here. And then we've got the rear facing camera, which is a three megapixel uh, camera. So it's not the highest resolution, but again, it's uh, a camera to get you up and going. And the lens is just very, very fractionally recessed there, but uh, not as much as some. So, here we are at the screens here. So let's start off by going into the settings and showing you what this is all about. So about phone. So it's also known as the Z130 and it's running Android version 4.2.2. If we come out of there, we'll just scroll up through some of the settings. So we've got the scheduled power on and off, which is a nice feature that some people like on uh, devices to be able to switch a device automatically on and off at certain times. You can add a variety of different accounts, including Google, Acer Cloud, your corporate account, Facebook, email. You get the idea, fairly standard. Backup reset, a range of languages. Be sure to check out our uh, other videos to see the languages available for this device. Location and security. Got details on the battery. Let's take a look at the storage. So there's four gig of internal storage. And you can see that we've got some content sort of pre-installed on here. So 
out of the, the box, uh, depending on your configuration, we can see that we've actually got um, 730 meg available on this device. Now this is a sample that's been sent to us um, by Acer, so the amount you have maybe or is most likely to be greater than this, you can actually see the system's taken at 1.55 gig, but we've got uh, 1.22 gig of various items actually on here. So this screen is a 3.5 inch half VGA with a resolution of 320 by 480. You've got Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on this device. Let's go into the display here and you can change all your themes and your wallpapers as you kind of expect with an Android device. You can control the brightness and you've also got a light sensor for automatic brightness control. So in the DTS sound, uh, that's designed to enhance the rear speaker here. So it's enabled at the moment, but you can switch it on and off and you can control the treble or the bass or the music equalizer, which is quite nice if you're into your audio to improve the sound that you do in fact get. And you can also apply settings to uh, the video as well. Now, got to be honest and say our impressions of the speaker so far haven't been fantastic. It's not bad uh, and the DTS probably does make a little bit of a difference, but um, well, it it could be better. We've got uh, different profiles here that we can set up depending on your uh, preferred options. So let's just play a phone ringtone and try and give you an idea of the sound. So it's not bad out of that. You can feel the vibration through the speaker. Um, for something that is this price point, it's pretty good to be fair. We don't wanna be too harsh on it. So here's your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and you can see here that SIM management's uh, actually uh, blanked out. That's probably because we haven't got a SIM card in it at this time, uh, but you can put that in there and that's probably got something to do with the fact that there is potentially a dual SIM uh, variant available. So you've got all your Google sort of services and, and set up here. So you can scroll through your different home screens like so, you can press and hold on the screen to change your wallpapers. You can even have a video wallpaper there. You've got quick setup or access to a lot of your main things like your dialer. So we can dial in a number here, like so. Click back to the home screen. We got messaging, start a new message. And then of course we've got the on-screen keyboard here that we can use in portrait or we can use it in landscape mode. Um, there, so you just hold the cover back and start typing. You've got Chrome web browser. Now we're not connected to Wi-Fi at this point, but it's fairly straightforward. You can double tap on the screen uh, to uh, zoom into the text. You can pinch and zoom uh, on the screens in the web browser like so, just like that. You've then got the camera. So we've got the three megapixel camera uh, on the back here, and it's just giving you a little uh, demo of what you can do. So here we go, there's the camera. Fairly basic interface on this camera here. Capture a panorama, auto capture there. You've got the ability to take single images like so, or we can record video. So let's show you some of the further settings in here. So you can uh, control some of the actual effects on the video and photo that you're taking. You've got different scene modes here to help enhance the pictures a little bit. You've got white balance, image properties. So you've got uh, face detection on here. You've also got a timer. Uh, you can change the capture number and then the picture size. So it's set to three megapixels. If we then take a look at the video camera settings, so at the moment it doesn't actually specify the quality, we've just got low, medium, high and fine. So most of the time you're gonna want it on fine to get the uh, highest quality video. Got time lapse on there and audio mode as well. So fairly uh, sort of nondescript uh, camera there, but does the basics so you can play your videos back here. 
and then Video. you'll be able to uh, go through the gallery to the images that you've captured. Now to view sample images, head over to our blog, blog.clove.co.uk to actually see that. You can press and hold here to uh, get into your settings and manage actually running applications that you've got going on. You've got your app tray here. So all the apps that are pre-installed. So you scroll through the screens like so to get to your different applications. So you've got YouTube, wireless device input, shortcut to your settings. You've got Google Play Store. You've got uh, your photo wizard here. So you can actually uh, sync up your photographs with Acer Cloud. We come back out of that. You've got gallery, you've got an FM radio. You got your also stock browser here, you got a barcode scanner. So you've got everything to sort of uh, get you going out of the box. So there is a dual core one gigahertz processor on here. It's uh, got you know your standard sort of connectivity through the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. You've got GPS uh, built in. So it's a lower entry level handset. It's not going to be for everyone. So if you're looking for something that's sub hundred pounds, um, this is a nice touch. The fact that it's got a little cover on here in our, uh, testing that we have been doing with it, it seems to have performed. Okay. It's not the snappiest or the, uh, most responsive devices that we've ever had hands on with, but at this price point, um, it's, it's not bad. Um, so for more information, be sure to check out our website, www.clove.co.uk.